Hello everyone, hi. Um, yeah, this uh, video I want to announce that I want to learn Sranam, and in Dutch they call it Surinams. And um, yeah, later I'm going to explain you why I want to learn this language. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for a native speaker of that language. Um, yeah, I also want to tell something about my TikTok page because uh, there I have like uh, rap songs and uh, like sort of freestyle, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And I want to inspire people to practice with, uh, you know, rap songs. So if you're learning a language, I think it's a cool way to, uh, yeah, to freestyle a bit, you know, because then you get a better feeling of uh, the language and um, you, you, you feel more confident and it's fun, of course. So if you'd like to get some inspiration, uh, my TikTok page is the, f uh, the first link uh, below this video in the, descri the description, so you can find it there. And um, yeah, soon I also want to make new videos. I'm, I'm still thinking about what kind of content, but um, let's focus again on, on what I was telling before. Like I want to learn Sranam, uh, Surinams. And yeah, I'm looking for a native speaker and um, yeah, I uh, I also want to tell like for example if you uh, are able if you are a native speaker of the language, I uh, uh, we could practice Sranam, but also in other language you know because I think that's fair you know so for example thirty minutes of Surinams and then thirty minutes of another language like Spanish Portuguese uh, German Tagalog French you know, um, and then I I think it's a very cool motivational session I call it motivational sessions because we are motivating each other and it's like a way of becoming friends, of practicing and having fun for sure. And I, I even think it's very good that, um, like right now I don't speak Suriname, so I'm, I'm, I'm starting from scratch. But later, maybe after two months or three months, um, if you speak uh, Surinams and uh, my level improved after, um, yeah, like I, I learned something after, f let's say two or three months, maybe I'm able to, um, continue the sessions by speaking Serrano, right? So for example, I, I'm i learning Serrano and uh, you're learning uh, Spanish, right? So for example, then I could, uh, in Serrano, like the first 30 minutes, I can explain things about Spanish. And then for you, it would be the opposite. Like you speak Spanish, you explain me things about Serrano. And then the, the one hour session is very effective because we don't speak English, you know, like, of course, English is also an important language for sure, but I mean, like, almost every day I hear, I hear English, you know, like, I uh, watch movies, series, so I, my brains are already getting fed by English words, so I, I don't have to worry about that, but that's why I prefer to, um, to speak other languages. So, I just want to say, like, if you are a, a native speaker of Surinams, and uh, if you uh, want to uh, practice uh, another language as well, um, then you can send me a text message uh, on my Instagram page. It's like the second link below this video. And then we can sort of motivate each other. And uh, that, yeah, I definitely think it's fair if I, if I would help you with a uh, language like Spanish, German, or French. Or just let me know and then we can talk about that. Um, and I, yeah, I'm also not sure, like, uh, if you already know it, like I also announced it today. Like, I made a list of more than 15 languages. And I want to spend more than 20 hours per week um, into these uh, languages, which I'm going to learn intensively. So with intensively, I mean that I'm really focusing on these languages and really practicing with native speakers and trying to improve my vocabulary knowledge. And uh, uh, yeah, Russian is one of them, you know, I, I really want to improve the, the and understand the cases, so it takes a lot of time. And yeah, this list helps me because I have, I have a strong schedule now and I've um, more, um, I've also more time, you know, because I'm at home. So I, I think I want to definitely use this period to um, improve these languages. So, um, but meanwhile, I will also maintain the other languages which I speak by practicing with polyglot. So I have a certain number of polyglot friends, and uh, with some people, I have these multiple uh, mutual languages with the other. Uh, polyglots have other languages in common but sometimes i just have like a short a short session with them and, and we we just switch between the languages which we know and that's just to um maintain it you know so um as i said i focus on this list of more than 15 languages uh during next month but it also means that i will maintain all the other languages and um i think that's very um important you know and um yeah this plan practicing these languages uh, these these 15 15, uh, 15 and more languages list, um, Surinams is one of them. I, I want to um, use this schedule of more than 20 hours per week for all languages totally um, until um, 
the end of December of 2020, this year. Next year, and uh, I, I'm going to make a new list of new languages where I'm focusing on and um, making a new schedule because I'm, I'm not sure how much time I have that next year. But then also I will uh, practice all the previous languages, so everything, you know, because that's important. If you don't practice, you will lose your knowledge. I also want to say that this strategy of not using English during a session, um, yeah, of course, I am using uh, English, but at the beginning, you know, because I don't speak Surinams, for example, but um, then, no, I even that, that's like, even when I'm practicing Surinams with someone, and that person also knows Spanish, for, no, no, let's say, that person knows, that person wants to learn Spanish, and um, I want to learn Surinams, but we also have German in common, for example, right? Then I can also speak German all the time because my English is better than my German and that's how I improve my German. So I always try to find a way to avoid speaking English. So um, even when my student arms is not that good yet in order to explain things about Spanish as an example, I'll just use German or French or another language which that person also speaks. So, And this exercise or thing, I want to do it with all the sessions which I have, you know. I, I will try to find another mutual language which that person speaks, which I speak, and try to communicate and, and, and to explain the things. And once I reached an A2 level in, um, in the language which I'm learning, I'm going to use that language in order to explain things about the language which that person is learning. All right, you're getting confused probably. Um, I made a list, I even looked at, um, yeah, what he said, I, I even made a, made a sort of plan, you know, to realize that the, the people which, uh, where I'm practicing languages with, where I'm going to practice languages with, are um, also knowing another language which we could use, like, like Spanish or um, like, like Chinese maybe, which I use as a communication tool in order to explain things, you know. Um, I think it's a very way in order to switch, to become more confident, and it even happens to me that when I'm speaking uh, a language during uh, during a session, um, which is not English, it helps me to even think in that language. You know, so after a while, when I uh, yeah, when the when the when the session is done, I, I can think like, oh, hey, cool, nice. Uh, I'm thinking in that language. You know, so all right. I hope that that this uh, is is helpful. What I'm saying, as I said. You can send me a text message if you want to practice um, Surinams with me, if you can help me. And of course, I want to help you as well. All right, cheers.